Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about tables in Microsoft Access. Now, open your database program, which is Microsoft Access. Now, after the program opens, it will prompt you to create a blank database. Click on the option to create a blank database. In my case, I'm going to name the database table tutorial for the sake of the tutorial. Tutorial. And then click create. Now, I already have another document that is called table tutorial, so I'm going to replace it. Now, after that, it's going to open uh, this uh, window which has a uh, uh, one table. Now the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to discuss the different uh, interfaces of the table. The first one we have is the datasheet view, and the second one is the design view. Now in the datasheet view, it's where we enter the data, but in the design view, it's where we design the, the columns that are going to be in our table. Now this is the datasheet view. To toggle to the design view, just click here and then click design view. Now it will prompt you to save the table. Let me save the table as the tables, tables, and then click OK. Now it will open this window, which is the design view. Now in the design view, you define the columns that you want, you want to have in your table. And the data types that you want those columns to represent now let's uh, remove this one for example we want to make a table for a certain student for example the type name of student name of student and then in the data type we can type we can we can choose the name of student is short text and then the second one you can see the admission number admission number admission number is also short text because we cannot use number because it it cannot be used to carry out any calculation we use the number data type only when we're going to use the the values for calculation now the third one you can we can use we can create another field called fee balance now fee balance in the data type we're going to put currency because the fee balance is uh, in currency and then the last one we're going to to create uh, for example a disciplinary case for example any disciplinary case disciplinary case now in the data type we're going to use a data type called called yes track no now it's going if the student has a disciplinary case yes will be the answer will be yes but if the student has does not have any disciplinary case it will be no now this we've created four fields uh, sample fields now we can save the table by clicking this button here and then going back to the datasheet view now in the datasheet view the columns that we created will be dis displayed here now this is where we're going to enter the data uh, that is going to be contained in the table. Now in the name we can type Caleb. In the admission we can type, for example, in uh, a random number. Okay, any random number. And then in the fee balance we can type. We can type let's say two fifty dollars. Okay, two. 250 but in my local currency that will be 25,000 and in a disciplinary case let's say the student that does not have any disciplinary case so it will remain just like that in the second one Brian admission number 2015 and then let's say as a balance of thirty dollars, which is three thousand in my local currency, and the student has a disciplinary case, so you tick this one. 
and then now you can save now those are the basics of creating a table in microsoft access now there are also many other data types you can move to design there are so many other data types such as long text now we use long text when we want to enter like a paragraph of information we use number data type when we, we are entering a number that we're going to use to carry out a particular calculation using queries and then a large number we use large number when we want to add a number that is more than eight characters long the tenth time it's that's obvious when you want to enter a field which has maybe date of birth or any other date related uh, entry the we've also we've already used the currency data type and then the next one is yes or no we've already used it <coughs> now this is a boolean boolean data type which can either be yes or a no now OLE object which is object linking and embedding now this one it allows the use of uh, pictures or any digital data types you can link a picture for example you want to add the picture of a certain student you can use that one now the next one is hyperlink this is uh, is used to add links for example to a certain website or a certain article in the internet you can add a, a link to that one okay now these other data types are rarely used and i'm not going to discuss them in this uh, tutorial now that's all we're going to study today about tables thanks for watching and have a good day